Symphony San Jose has rapidly become the South Bay's premier orchestra, performing in one of the most beautiful concert halls. One of their latest presentations captivates the realm where artificial intelligence and music intersect. And here to tell us more about automation is the general director of Symphony uh, San Jose, Robert Massey. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, so. I am so excited to talk about this because it seems like AI is coming into every aspect of our life these days, and now it has met the symphony. So tell me about automation and how this came about. Yeah, absolutely. And and it's, you know, AI, you, you know, you, you see it every day. Um, symphony orchestras plan our seasons like two years out. And so when we actually were programming this, we didn't know exactly how big AI was going to be. Um, but when I got the job in San Jose, heart of Silicon Valley, two years ago, I knew that automation was going to be one of the first things that we programmed. And um, it really is this juxtaposition of man and machine, and it examines kind of the connection and the conflict, and um, all through the lens of some just great classical music. So, so this has been in the works for two years? It has, yeah. We're, this is going to be the West Coast premiere. Um, it, it was debuted in 2022 uh, by my old orchestra in Louisville, Kentucky. And um, yeah, we're absolutely thrilled to share it with audiences here. Wow, I know that one of the things that is talked about that people will experience is a, a battle between a live celloist, celloist and an AI uh, hologram. So tell me about that and what people will take away from that. Yeah, so you know, one of the inspirations behind, behind the work was the 2012 Coachella Festival where there was a hologram of Tupac Shakur. And so the composer, Adam Schoenberg, uh, and the cellist, Eve Dahl, wanted to present something kind of theatrical in this cinematic concerto, something that you could take into the concert hall but still have this element of, of um, kind of visual aspects to it. And so in the performance, we have in one corner Eve Dar, our cellist, playing the cello and this electro instrument called the Haldorophone. And then in the other corner in the concerto manifests this hologram, um, who is the AI hologram. It's this humanoid figure named Agnes, which is the automatic generator network of excellent songs. And Agnes's part is completely generated by AI. And so we have the AI hologram versus the human soloist playing the human composer's music. And listeners will get to really examine, can they tell the difference? Uh, does music created by a machine with no soul move us in the same way? And if it does, what does that say for the future of classical music? Wow, that's such a cool juxtaposition there. And I'm yes. sure it's an intense moment in the show. It, it, it's, it's a fascinating moment in the show. And there's just a lot of tricks and technology that go into it, but uh, it's definitely a piece that you have to see live and experience it because the entire room comes to, to life. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the prep and getting the show to what it is today. How much has gone into it? You said it's taken about two years. Well, it's taken us two years. The actual process with um, the creation of the of the of the the piece um, took many years. Be, you know, before that, um, Adam Schoenberg, as a composer, is writing his part. Uh, but he actually, um, Adam's a, a faculty member at Occidental College, and he partnered with the computer science team there um, with the lead project designer Catherine Leonard to kind of create the AI. And so there was a lot of processes of feeding Adam's compositions into the AI learning machine so it would start to kind of learn that. Um, and then those early um, outputs, we realized that um, the music couldn't actually be performed by the cello. Um, it was too high, too low techniques that the cellist couldn't do. So they had to go back and input kind of cello music. And then it really worked on perfecting it so that um, it was no longer just recreating um, the music, um, it was generating authentic music of its own. And so it was a, it was a very long process and uh, that just got us to, to the debut of the piece. And then of course, uh, we've been working with Eve and Adam and our, con uh, our conductor, Vinay Parmaswaran, uh, on programming this, this uh, here in San Jose for the last uh, 18 months. So. so awesome. This is just so fascinating to me. So uh -huh. what do you want audiences to take away from this experience when they come out and see what you guys have put together? Yeah, well, it's going to be thrilling for the audience, but we really want to... Um 
you know, we, we approach this whole you know, program through kind of this philosophical lens that uh, just because we can do something, should we do something? And so the program opens with John Adams' short ride in a fast machine, which the composer describes as being offered a ride in a terrific sports car that you quickly regret. And it's exhilarating and it's fast and there's energetic bursts from the percussion and the brass. And audiences will literally be holding onto their seat for the entire four minute ride. Uh, we go into Paul Dukas' Sorcerer's Apprentice, which um, many of us may know from the movie Fantasia with Mickey Mouse fighting the broomsticks. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, talk, you see the, the story of a young wizard who gets in over his head, quite literally. Uh, we have automation, and then uh, we end the entire piece with Richard Strauss's epic tone poem, Also Sprach Zarathustra, which many will know as the main theme to 2001, A Space Odyssey, the original AI horror film, you know, uh, gone wrong. And um, for those maybe younger um, listeners, they will know this piece as the opening uh, to last summer's smash hit, Barbie. So uh, so it was used there. So uh, it's, it's a great, great combination of symphonic music and humanity and technology and how do these all come to play in a concert hall and it's just a little glimpse into the future so much fun and we were talking a little bit about uh, this before we came on the segment that this is one of the best date nights out and why do you think that well it's, it's a it's a great date night and especially we have something this year for for our younger patrons 25 years and, and, and younger um, they can get a pass to all of our Saturday night concerts for 25 dollars wow uh, and so it includes um, more than a half dozen performances and they can bring any one person with them uh, to any of them regardless of their age uh, and and that companion ticket is also twenty five dollars so it's a cheap date. Uh, you can bring your parents or somebody who's going to give you a ride or um, just a great night out with friends. And where can people get tickets and information if they want to join this weekend? All information and tickets can be found through symphonysanjose.org. Robert, I know that this is going to be such a fun experience and thank you for coming on here and telling us all about it. Um, I, I hope you really enjoy it this weekend. Thank you. So, thanks so much for having me. Of course. To learn more or to get your tickets to Automation with Symphony San Jose, we'll have a link on our website. Just head to liveinthebay.tv. When we come back...